Spanning the walls of 13 of the city's leading photography galleries, New York Photographs is the photo show of the summer. Every gallery offers something unique. At Lawrence Miller, early proofs from the legendary Helen Levitt, and at Hasted Hunt, the Statue of Liberty. Sarah Hasted got the idea for the group show last March. The recession was wrecking havoc on the art world, but she was determined to make a stand. We were experiencing a little bit of a slowdown and wanted to join with colleagues to see if there was a way we could work collaboratively. I thought there would be strength in numbers. The New York was a great, easy idea because everybody has New York pictures in their inventory. Hasted and Hunt offer many takes on the Statue of Liberty, from the iconic shot by Lou Stoman to a delightful image by Paolo Ventura. There are also photos by luminaries Joel Sternfeld and Bruce Davidson. Lady Liberty, it turns out, is not just for the tourists. Most photographers have taken a picture of the Statue of Liberty, and so we probably could have had a really, really big show had we decided on this a year ago. And, you know, the book. <laughs> we could have written a book on it. Times Square is another piece of New York that's always attracted photographers. Yancey Richardson has put together a show that documents both the glitz and the grime. A number of the images are from the 40s and 50s and early 60s when Times Square was this incredibly glamorous happening place with movie palaces and lots of lights. And you can date those images by some of the movies that are playing, like The Racers featuring Kirk Douglas. It's harder to date the gritty photo of the Empire Theater by Mitch Epstein because the marquee is blank and the theater's boarded up. It's actually from 1997, when Times Square was pretty much a wasteland of crime, prostitution, and despair. But many New Yorkers are just as turned off by the Disneyified Times Square of today. Not Yancey Richardson. She's still a fan. When I drive down through Times Square at night, I st it still takes my breath away. I love it. My name is Yossi Milo, and I'm the owner of the Yossi Milo Gallery. And we are here um, in front of the uh, salon-style exhibition of Sexy in the City. You can't help but notice that most of the sex in the sexy show is subtle, except for the pictures from the 1970s, when New York really let loose. Like many of the dealers I spoke with, Yossi Milo favors the classic over the contemporary. When I say now, for me, it's really 1980s, you know, when you see these great celebrations in, uh, in uh, Studio 54. I mean, now you can see the photographs by Nan Golden. Gallerist Bonnie Ben Ruby's connection to the past is personal. George Harrison put together, and it was at Madison Square Garden in 1971, and I was at that concert. Many of the images in her show, live from New York, are from concerts she attended or places she hung out. And part of my youth also, in the 80s, was hanging out in Texas, Kansas City. But for Ben Ruby, the group show is just one of the benefits of collaboration. Working together, the gallerists have negotiated better deals from many of their vendors, shippers, framers, photo labs. We really were successful in um, not hammering our suppliers, but getting our suppliers to, to give us um, better deals as a home, because we were a home. The New York photograph shows all close at the end of summer, but Hasted and Hunt both believe it's just the beginning for this new photography collective. It's, it's very nice to sit with your colleagues and brainstorm. We're, we're there's, a, there's a real dialogue conversation yeah. that wasn't taking place that now takes place.